Let's talk about following what feels right while on your awakening path. Hi, I'm Linda Armstrong. I'm an awakening coach and an energy healer. And I like to talk about all things to do with spiritual awakening, manifesting your dreams, working with energy, releasing what holds you back. So this is all the kinds of things I like to talk about on my YouTube channel. And so today we want to talk about following what feels right on your awakening path. So we we know that this path of awakening has a lot of ups and downs. But for me, it feels like even though I'll, my energy will still dip, I always feel like I come out of that dip in a, in a higher place, like in a more expanded space, maybe in a lighter space, even though it could feel pretty heavy when you're going through um, some kind of a purging right, of energy. So what I wanted to talk about then were a few things that I find that will keep me anyway into staying in that higher vibration, which of course is what we're moving towards, right? Living in a higher vibration, holding more light. Um, and that's really what this whole awakening about is about, is really raising your frequency. So you want to make sure to follow what easily takes you into that space of feeling good, right? Noticing when you're getting pulled down into a negative energy, when you're getting pulled down into some past, something from the past, right? Some, especially when it's a repetitive pattern, right? You want to stop feeding it with the negative thoughts that come regarding that situation, right? So it may look at it, love it, let it know, listen, I'm sorry, it's an old story. I'm just not I'm just not going there anymore. I choose to follow what really inspires me and what lights me up and what makes me feel better. And so then do that, right? Even if it's like stopping everything you're doing and then go watch a funny movie or something like that. Like disconnect from that energy that's dragging you down and just let yourself be in a peaceful place. Maybe you just go and you meditate, right? Go outside into nature, play with your animals. <laughs> Um, you just want to make sure that you can stay in the present moment and being aware of your vibration and doing things to keep it higher. So it's like letting go of, just letting go of these things that you know will pull you off, right? Being, becoming really, it's awakening, right? So becoming even more aware of those things that really no longer serve you, that pull you into a space that takes you out of your peace, that takes you away from your truth, that, that love, right? That high vibration. Um, so yeah, so you don't want to engage in more negativity because usually when we're in those spaces, oh God, those things, that, that, those programs just start running, you know? But if you're aware, you're aware of it, thank it. Thank you for what it's trying to do for you. Let it know it's done its job and then you're moving on. Okay, so we already said that. Um, so then you want to, because you want to be open in that receptive place where you can receive your divine inspiration, where you can tap into your intuition. I mean, that right there, when your intuition, if you can feel it in your body, right? If something feels good, it feels right, or in, and you can hold that space, you can re usually receive more of what will keep you there, what will take you further. You'll get some kind of intuitive knowing, even if you're not sure it's intuition, but you'll be in that space to be able to have the good thoughts come through to take you where you want to go, right? So uh, we don't want to feed those lower energies. We don't need to. What do we need to do that for, right? We've done it so long. It didn't really make any difference. What makes the difference is when you no longer feed the negative and you move towards the positive. So you want to be able to just be open to new experience. Because if you're stuck there, you're not open to something new that wants to come through, right? Things, you know, when you're in that high vibe, spirit will just move you to the next part of your path, right? Of what's already there waiting for you to catch up to it, right? That vibration of catching up to it. So the more you can stay in a higher vibration, the easier it is to move forward through this whole awakening process, right? 
And I know, I mean, I know all about energy, right? And I can really move my energy and make those, sometimes I don't want to. It's like, okay, I could stay in this yucky feeling and, and I could move out, but for some reason, I don't just do it, right? <laughs> Sounds crazy, but I've caught myself doing that. And so then I have to bring myself into the present reality and be like, wait a minute. Do I really want to allow myself? Why am I allowing myself to be so stuck into that, that? It's not even happening right here, right now. It's just a bunch of patterns and programs and thoughts and ideas or a past experience or fear about the future that is pulling me into a place that I don't want to be in, right? So you just choose to move out of it. So even if you just move to neutral, just neutral, just being present, just going outside, just doing things that feel good, exercising, moving your body, putting music on, dancing, allowing yourself to move. Because when your body can move and when you're more fluid, inspiration flows through even easier. Um, but most of all, the one thing I want to really want to leave you with on this is to keep things simple, right? Even as far as decluttering your space. Because, you know, energy, everything's energy and you have energy ties to everything. So when you're being pulled in so many directions, you're not consciously aware of it usually, but your energy is being pulled in all these different directions. When you can clear your space, when you can simplify your life, right? Like clear out your emails, you know, um, unsubscribe from all those nonsense things that keep pulling at you that you're not even paying attention to. It's just stuff that's pulling you off and pulling you away from that peaceful space within where you can hear what's next for you, where you can move with ease, with love, with peace, with joy into what you want to um, do next. So a lot of times you don't even know what that is. But the more you stay in that peace and you simplify your life, like I'm, I'm really in the real move, movement right now and mode of just simplifying everything, you know? Get, just letting go of stuff I don't need anymore. It's just way, I feel it. It feels heavy. It's just weighing me down. Just really loosening up that space, letting things go, allowing myself to be in the present moment, to tap into my intuition, to allow new experience to come, not getting caught up in those dips because <laughs> we're on this roller coaster. It feels like that anyway, right? You're feeling really great. Next day, you're not feeling so good. You could stay in that if you choose. It's a choice. I really believe it's a choice. Uh, and I say that because I know I've seen myself choose to be in the, that lower energy. And then you realize, you wake up, you're like, what the heck am I doing? I know what to do. Let me just move over here. So yeah, moving out from a lower vibe to a higher vibe. Um, nah, that's all I want to say today. But it really, it's all about following what feels right on your awakening path. Even, even as far as I mean, there's so many videos out there, so many people teaching about awakening, so many people channeling experience and all of this stuff. It could, it could get really overwhelming too, right? But when, you when your space is clear, when you can hold yourself in a good vibe, when you're tapping into your intuition, you can look at all these different things and feel what resonates with me. What feels true to me about this awakening experience, you know? Don't allow yourself to get torn in so many different directions where it gets so confusing that it gets overwhelming. Really fine tune, you know, fine tune those things that speak to you and that light you up and that you know help you to hold this higher vibration. Really navigating what is true for you. And in doing that, you do actually come to this place of peace and this place that it does allow your vibration to raise and which really kind of helps you along this awakening journey. I'll leave you with that. I would love for you to subscribe, like, share, and uh, of course, comment below with anything that I said that um, makes sense to you or anything you even disagree with. I'm open, you know, I'm learning. I'm on this journey just like everybody else. And when I hear of other people's experience, it helps me too, right? To know, um, you know, how I can actually help to serve people more and maybe what videos to create that will 
help those who are seeking information on how to feel good, right? Good vibes only. That's the goal. Um, anyway, I'll see you on another video. Bye.